Hello, I'm Natasha Foreman. Welcome to the Breaking Bread with Natasha podcast, where I share daily devotionals from my namesake blog. So you can listen on demand to spiritual messages inspired by God's love as expressed in the Bible and other religious texts. You can read along at breakingbreadwithnatasha.com or sit back and take in the word. Either way, I'm blessed to have you break bread with me. Without further delay, let's begin today's message. Welcome back. It's good to be here with all of you. Welcome to Breaking Bread with Natasha. This is Natasha Foreman. Let's look at the book of Matthew chapter 7, line 12. The translation that I'm reading says, So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you, for this sums up the law and the prophets. The very things that you want and need in life, that which you hope to receive from others, should be the very things you're freely giving. The way you expect to be treated is how you should be in return. If you want respect, give it. If you want to be left with your dignity, then leave others with theirs. If you want someone to treat you with grace, be gracious. If you want fairness, be fair. If you want honesty, then be honest. If you want someone to be on time to meet you, be on time to meet them and others. If you want faithfulness and loyalty, then be totally faithful and loyal. If you want extra money, then give money freely to others who are in need. Pay your employees what you would want to be paid. Tip your service provider what you would want to be tipped. Make good faith payments so the same are made to you. What you want, you will receive when you first put it out there. Make sense? I mean, only narcissists, social passes, psychopaths expect something for nothing, expect the extreme from others while they do the bare minimum. Only they deem it acceptable to lie, cheat, steal, and harm while expecting everyone else to be righteous and noble. And they are in a special category, <laughs> taking much longer to mold and align to God. And if you aren't in that category, then you know what to do to receive what you want and need. So let's get out there. Be the change we want to see and create a world of positive reciprocity. Let's pray on it. Father, thank you for another day of life, freedom, peace, and a chance to make a positive difference in my life, someone else's life, in my community, and in the world. Father, add an extra layer of strength to me today and moving forward as I face challenges that I have avoided or that just surfaced. I rest on you as you carry me through valley and mountain experiences and treacherous storms. Father, touch my heart so that in each circumstance I treat others as I would want to be treated, emulating your son's walk through life. In your name and his, I pray, amen. And with that family, I pray that you are blessed, that you see and embrace your blessings and that you're a blessing to others. I love you all. Take care. Hi family, if what I shared in today's message resonates with you, I hope you will share it with others. Feel free to leave positive comments and reviews on my site, breakingbreadwithnatasha.com and through whichever podcast provider that you're listening to me. Each day I work to be a better steward and servant. I hope you will join me in sharing God's love and truth and rebuking the enemy's lies. Now go out there and make today an awesome day. I love you all.